Hey everybody, so this is I'm playing some more Legends out of Ocarina of Time. Last time we started most of the Dongo's Cabin, and this time we're going to continue on to it and probably finish it. And to start off, we are in this room. The boss is right next to us right now, uh, but we uh, can't go in there right now, so we're going to have to go around this way. So, if we... go, oh dear. These keys are so annoying. Nobody likes fire keys or anything. Come on. No one likes ice keys the worst. Eh. Bit of spoilers, but you know. I got it. Good shot. Another one. Okay, got a heart back at least. I guess. Even though I still lost another one after that. Now, well, let's see what's happening here. I can't remember what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, I think, is throw a bomb up there. Because I need to go up there to get something else. I think. Okay, there's this one guy here. Well, that was simple. I'll just dodge that guy for now and get this gold scotula thing. How many things do I have? 18. Okay, so I'm nearly up to the next reward because there's a reward at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then there's a special bonus at 100. Not recommended doing though. But I'm gonna do it for purposes. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave that heart down there, I guess. Because if we go in here, there is that. I'm gonna get out of bottle quickly. Nope, that's too far. Gonna set it to that. Okay, if we go here, we can get a fairy that went to the wall. Fairy, come back. I love you. Okay, there we go. We can put it in the bottle, and it respawns every time we go here. So we can like go into here just a bit, like just about there, and then walk back. And it should be back again. So there we go, and we have full health again. So that's all good. I'm going to get out the sticks because I'm going to need them for the boss in a second. Since it does lots of damage when you use it. Let's see what's in this pot here. Chest, rupees, and first bomb pickup stuff. So now that we're here, we can push this block out, and this is right next to the boss room, so if we push this down, we can then pull it this way. Oh dear. Oh, come on, keys, 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 keys. There we go, got him. I'm going to get the heart in a second once I get hit by the other one. Maybe. Possibly. I feel like it's coming to me. Got it. That was a good defense dodge thing. I don't know. Uh, but if we put push this block into the middle of the room where there's actually a switch underneath in the middle of these block things. In a hole. It opens the boss door for us. So let's go do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a bomb there, and then I'm going to open up this chest here. Which has... More bombs! Ah, uh, but if we place that bomb there, it will actually allow us to go down here. What does Link see, I wonder? Maybe it has something to do with the dungeon and what we've been doing with it, mostly. Because the boss is... Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo, the biggest Dodongo there is to find. Every time he's about to breathe like that, throw your um, bomb into his mouth. And if you go right up against the wall, he can't actually roll into you. Or you could just go like right next to the lava like this, where I am now. Uh, sir, this is this is I'm over here, sir. Oh dear, he just rolled on his own. I didn't know he did that. Oh well. I just need to follow him, that lava in the middle will hurt you, I guess. Should mention that, shouldn't I? Okay, let's do that. And since I'm using Deku Sticks, he's already dead. There's nothing else that he does, so it's very simple. If if you don't throw a bomb in his mouth before he finishes his attack, he will breathe fire at you. But with that, he rolls into the lava and dies. Just like that. Well, we can't get the heart container, can we? 
Unless the lava kind of cools down for some reason and then just turns to rock. Logic. Anyway, there's our heart container and let's get out of here. Anyway, now that we've done that, we've completed another dungeon. Now we just need to go get the spiritual stone of fire from the Gorons. Oh dear. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dondongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild av adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers, and that a big that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. Uh, you can, you on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony just involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. You obtained the Gorons Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will, p will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Hallelujah, it's rain and gorns. You did it. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Of course, they're made of rocks, so I'm in trouble, aren't I? Run, 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 run. Well, anyway, with that, we can now, since we have bombs, we can climb the rest of the mountain because of these rocks over here we can get past now. There's also a few other things I'm going to get here. In, actually, I'm going to go do those two things first. Oh dear. So, this wall here, we can actually drop a bomb here and just wait. And just wait. And just wait. And now, there's a chest in here. Let's see what it is. 50 rupees. Well, that's going to fill up our wallet. And now we've got a full wallet. Now, what am I going to do with that money? It's just going to, every time we collect a rupee from now on, it's just going to accomplish nothing. Well, anyway, if we jump down here, it's gonna hurt us. But anyway, more bombs. If we place a bomb here next to this wall, there's a skull tiller up there, but we can't seem to reach it, so I guess that means we can't get it. Except for some reason, we can climb this wall. So let's do that. So now we're gonna head back up to where the cave stuff happened. There's actually lots of things I'd like to do right now with the current items I have been given. Since bombs are so really... They're one of the most helpful items in this game. For getting stuff. There's also some stuff I'd like to get in the Goron City that I'd like to get. Now that I have bombs. Uh, but I'm probably going to do that possibly next episode. Possibly. Depends on how I go in speed now. But we can blow up these two boulders here. And underneath them there should be rupees, or at least that one did. If we throw one on there, it should blow up that one. Need to get it in that exact spot to be able to get it. Except I can't get those rupees, I just realised. Anyway. With this hole here. Now. This is something... Actually, I can't actually explain it right now. I'll be showing something else you can do with that. Just remember there's a cow here for when I talk about what they do. 
basically. Since we, they don't do anything right now. But they do do something in the future, so just remember that. So now, if we go along here, to get to the top of the mountain, you got to remember it's a volcano, so it's going to have this every few steps you take on here. And you have to use this particular shield to block them. Or like, block all this stuff. All these boulders. If you're lucky, you can do it in like three cycles. Oh dear, where's my button? There we go. Well, this is painful. I think, wait, am I safe here? I think I'm safe here. Okay, let's uh, kill that skeleton right there. Not a gold one, so it's not very important, but you know. Also, since we don't actually have to kill them, I can just climb up. Not like I need any of the droopy drops they're gonna give me. Wow, I'm very lucky with the rotations right now. Oh, I don't have a... Uh, do I get stuff from here? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna have to use that fairy since I need what and stuff. At least I think I know what I'm doing right now. I am uncertain if this is gonna help me. Nope, got it. That was close. So let's not talk to the elf we can for the moment. Yeah. Go along this wall. Okay, we're in here. Now inside this volcano area, inside Death Mountain Crater, uh, there is a f few things I could possibly do here, but I'm going to do that. There's a Skeltula right here. We have 40 seconds depending on how many hearts you have in here. I'm going to block this hole here for no reason. And I'm also going to jump off this cliff, kind of. Oh dear, that was close. I'm not going to have any time to get out here. Uh, but I do have enough time to get this heart piece right here. It's very out of the way, but, you know, once this timer runs out, you instantly die. So I'm in trouble. Please. No, I don't want to game over the screen now. I'm going to need... Oh. Oh. If I can make it to the hole. If I can make it to the hole. No. No. <laughs> that was close. I think it should reset the timer while I'm in here. Anyway, there's a thing here to get a rupee. That's not going to help me at all because I have full rupees. No, it's just bombs instead. Okay. I was very close to a game over screen that time. I can I can already see what the thumbnail is going to be for this video. It's probably slightly clickbait, but you know. Things like that happen. Also, I didn't need those bugs at all, I don't think. Possibly. But anyway, now let's block this thing here. And in here is our first case of a great fairy fountain. Hey, if we go here and play Zelda's Lullaby on this step here. We will summon the great fairy, like Bongo Cat. <laughs> Welcome, Blue Toad. I am the great fairy of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Re receive it now. You mastered the secret sword technique of the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon, release B to unleash the wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate the control stick once and press B for a very loud, uh, no, very effective quick spin. Okay. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy. 
You're a messenger from the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in to a, in a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. When battle has made you weary, please come back and s to see me. So that's something we're going to do probably in the next episode. And we also have a magic mutant here. But not much we can use the magic for right now except for a spin attack. So now let's talk to the you now. Hoo hoo hoot. Hoot. Hoo hoot. Ah, I'll get words. Ah, well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the great fairy's power. But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule, at least not yet. If you are going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here, grab my talons, and hold on tight. Hoo hoot. Hoot hoot. Come on. You just need to be in shadow, his shadow, I believe before he flies away and we get taken down in this cool cutscene thing that Gorn was having a bit of trouble with this roll this seems like a huge 3D model just thinking about it just now okay so now that we're up here we can actually f fall down here and go into this hole here and there's a cow here, as well as a piece of heart. Anyway, with that, I think that's everything. I oh, we got 20 scholars. We can actually go do that. Check out what we get from that as well. So this guy is now saved. Uh, the curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And we get the Stone of Agony. If you equip a Rumble Pack, it will react to, an, to nearby secrets. So basically, if you have the Rumble Pack in the controller, it will rumble when you're around a secret hole or something. Uh, but that's something we're going to get into next time. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time when we look at secrets. See you guys then.